hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from ps morgan and it's titled j leno's garage ps morgan shows leno his car after taking tour you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about so today, I don't even know where to start in your in your car emporium, but as we as we head into this room, for example, yeah. uh, past a sea of Bugattis. But what are we looking at here? Well, these are American cars from the twenties, mm. Duesenbergs, uh, Packard, a little bit of everything. Where uh, do you find them? Where do you source your cars? Well, you know, if you're into something, there's always other people that are interested in it too. You mm. know, it's odd. A lot of these guys are hermit kind of guys, mm. and they, they, they've had a car since it was new, and they've kept their whole life. Okay. And a lot of them just wanted to go to a good home, uh -huh. you know? So I usually pay what, what are we looking wow. at here? Okay, well, that was interesting. That's the last Duesenberg made by the Duesenberg brothers. Mm. And the guy I bought it from bought it in 46, locked it in his garage, and I bought it in 2005 after he passed away. It, the garage hadn't been opened in like 60 years what and you know you found newspapers a japanese attack again and all these kind of stories you know so and you still drive all of these cars oh yeah they're all on the road wow. how morgan. does he this even is, do this it caught my eye mainly because it's the book of the morgan the book of the morgan yeah <laughs> so one of these are morgan these are morgan these they're are, morgans these two are morgans yeah, yeah. magnificent Probably. aesthetic cars well english cars. Wow. <laughs> do english make good cars they do. Mm. Well, you know, I always find the English make one of anything great. <laughs> you know, you go, hey, listen, I need two more. Ah, damn, I can't do what it. What was it Churchill said about Americans? That they'll always come around to the right decision after exhausting every other potential. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what do we have, what do we have oh here? Oh, my gosh. Well, there's a little bit of Japanese, Another set. Those are Mazdas, there's Triumphs. These are all Jaguars wow. over here. Oh, the Jaguars, yeah. Well, hey, time. Uh, yeah, those Money are is yeah, good. The, the red e type. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely magnificent. I've got to ask you, Jamie. You come across as so easy mannered. Do you ever like lose your shit? Um, you know, one time I actually this is kind of like a road rage story. Mm. One day I'm in uh, I'm in my car, and I'm in an old car. I'm kind of going along. So the guy behind me, beep 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 beep, and I go, what? I go, go around me, go around me. So I kind of pull out. As he passes me, he gives me the finger. You know? I go, what's that all about? He goes, F <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I go, let me guess. Here we go. 52, fat, bald, <laughs> huh? divorced. Let me guess. Your kids hate you, right? <laughs> you hate your job. When was your greatest day? Was it high school? And I'm just berating the guy. And then he starts crying. And I go, oh, look, I'm sorry. Because that's oh, you're right. You're right. My, life, my kids hate me. I don't know. I said, all right, pull over, pull over. So I get in his car and go, look, I'm sorry. He goes, no, everything you said was true. I said, well, how old are your kids? He goes, nine and 11. I got two girls. I said, they don't they hate me. I go, look, do they like Taylor Swift? He goes, I love Taylor Swift. I go, well, look, I got her on the show Wednesday. I say, well, why don't you come Wednesday? Bring your two kids as my guests, OK? I go in the dressing room. I tell Taylor about this. The greatest. Gives them CDs, swag. Mm -hmm. Talking to the girls like, you know, it's fair. What, what songs do you like? She couldn't have been nicer. Just the most wonderful person. Really? Yeah, yeah, she was really very kind. Very nice. And how was the guy after? Oh, fine. It was, you know, he was an, he was an okay guy. He was just a stress guy. He's in traffic. Mm. You're in L.A. It's bumper to bumper. You know, he's got some awful job. He's divorced. You know, he looks like... Tell about Taylor Swift, that story, as huh? well. Well, yeah. And, and, what, do you, what do you make of the fact she's now this billionaire? I think it's wonderful. I mean, breaking all records, beating yeah. Elvis, Michael Jackson, all of them. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. She's re she deserves everything. She and, you know, she's a really nice person. Yes, I met her once. I thought she was lovely. You, yeah. don't, you don't get any sort of uh, attitude mm. or any. No, just, just a wonderful person. Mm. In fact, I met her dad once at a Wow, you guys. The amount of cars in this man's garage it's crazy because i don't even know how much they will be worth because they are all luxury cars oh my goodness people have money in this life there are so many people that are working their ass off every day and all they ever want is to have one of these luxury cars this man obviously does not even know what to do with his money he's super rich and wow 
what do you guys think about taylor swift do you think she's a nice person and let's continue watching you guys it was a one of the car rockets. here's a proper here's an mm. english car you would get a kick out of wow this how many a, cars does he have rolls p2 chassis we built the body here but wow. this has a beautiful this has a 27 liter merlin aircraft engine aircraft oh engine out of it wow you see this plaque here in memory of Thomas J. Lane, Jr., Corporal U.S. Army, 5th Corps of Engineers, Special Brigade, died on Normandy Beach. I have a friend of mine. He's a big insurance guy. And uh, his name is Tom Blair. Mm -hmm. And he's written a few political books and things. A nice guy. And his dad was an American. And he went to join the British. We weren't in World War II yet. Mm -hmm. he, flew, he flew to Europe. He met an English girl. He married her. Okay. She got pregnant. He went off to Normandy Beach and he died on June 6th. And my friend Tom never met his dad, but he always liked his dad flew a Spitfire. So he always collected the models and the planes mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So when I got this engine, I, I dedicated this to him wow. and his dad. And, uh, That's so just, thoughtful of him. That's what these are built for. I mean, you, you, you take something like Where, this. Where is this from, this engine? This is from a 1944 de Havilland Mosquito, which was a yeah. which was a, a fighter plane. And, you know, to me, those... And you built all this? Yeah, we built it here. But those guys in England, these 16, 17, 18-year-old men mm. that flew these planes. Mm. That, I mean, this kid, I, I, I have his car, too. There's an MG down there. 1938. He got it as a gift for his parents who graduating college. Uh, he drove the air. He drove the MG to the airfield. There's a picture of him and his parents standing next to the plane, blown wow. out of the sky, like a week later. And his parents kept the car, and Tom bought the car. You know that it was the same plane wow. that his dad had flown. Yeah, so. That's why I put this on there as sort of a tribute. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Kind of interesting. What would it, I mean, this is such a unique vehicle now. What would this be worth if you tried to sell it? Well, no, it's, again, it's more money than brains. It doesn't make any sense. What would it be worth? I don't know. We got quite a bit of money into it. it, it, it you could probably get six, seven hundred. For one car? Maybe. It'd be nice to do. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. Fast. It's quite reliable. How often do you drive this one? Oh, I take it out. But you only get. <laughs> Where do you go in this car? Well, you go on the road. I mean, just know. around locally. Do you yeah. go further or? No, no. Well, I mean, you only get about four miles per gallon, it's an <laughs> and it's a sixty-gallon gas tank, so it's like hundred and fifty bucks to fill it. You got a fire, uh, a fire truck. Well, fire that's truck. another one. That 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 was Warner Brothers lock truck. That was the fanciest fire truck you could get. Warner Brothers bought their lock truck <laughs> at the at the uh, uh, in 1941, about 1949 or 50. They donated it to uh, Burbank Airport. Mm. They used it. When Burbank Airport was done with it, they left it out at the end of the airfield mm. as a wind break, uh, you mm. know, to keep mm. dust off the runway. Then when 9-11 happened, you couldn't have anything on a runway that somebody could hide behind right. could be, where you couldn't see them. So I saw them hooking it up to drag it off. And it only had 11,000 miles on it because it just used mm. at Warner Brothers, you know, just drive around and around Burbank. Mm. But it was pretty far gone. So I, I, saw, I said, hey, listen, where are you taking that? I said, we're taking it to the junkyard. I said, we drop it over here? The guy goes, yeah, I don't want to drive over the junkyard. So he gave it to me, and then we fixed it up. And oh, got beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, you guys. This man is not just a collector of cars, but he collects cars that have memories, that have some sort of good stories about them. People obviously have different interests in life, and... Anyone who is watching this can tell that this man interest is in cars and he loves luxury, luxury cars. Let me know what you guys think about this. I still cannot even wrap my head around estimating what his car collection will be worth because only one car is worth over seven hundred thousand dollars. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Some people are obviously living the life and I love when Piers Morgan asked him where he drives these cars to and he said just around, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm very interested in knowing more about Jay Leno and you guys, let's wrap this video up. We got a, it's a tank. That's a, uh, that's a British, that's a ferret. 
that was used in uh, Northern Ireland, Saudi Arabia, from about the late 40s up what until... What is he using these cars for? Desert Storm was about the last time you saw those, so... Really? But it's it's got a... And it's street legal. Don't tell me you drive that out. No, I drive that in LA. Do you? Yeah, but it, see, it's got tires, <laughs> not tread. See, like in Beverly Hills, you use the 30 caliber. When you go down well, Wait a second. Yeah, it doesn't even drive, drive them to. the 50 caliber. Yeah. <laughs> you don't drive that through Beverly Hills, no, sure. No, no, Do I, you? I drive it. And you know something? <laughs> people just get out of the way. The people are I'm so not surprised. Polite. When you turn that turn around, they just they just back off. But do the do the police stop you? Or? No, it's legal. It's street legal. It's no it's it's no bigger than a Porsche. Wow. Lengthwise, I mean, it weighs four tons and it's got <laughs> guns on it. But other than that, it's fine. Yeah. Which is the car you most enjoy driving? Well, I like them all actually. I is mean, a one like real heart stopper for you? Well, I mean, I like the steam cars. Any, mm. you know, anything it should take a whole day to steam noise. all these cars. <laughs> now, what are you driving? Uh, well, I want to take you to my little vehicle in a moment. Oh, I uh, you'll be unsurprised to hear it's, it's rather like its owner. It's wow. British and classy. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we, we've got some amazing cars here, right? What's well, this one here? That's Gordon Murray's first car. Who, Gordon Murray, who built the F1, the yeah. legendary... Uh, yeah. This looks like toy cars. 775 pounds, 147 yeah, so small. horsepower. What is it? What make? It's, well, it's called the, ah. uh, a rocket car. Mm. Those who... He built those, he built, uh, I think, about 51 of those. Mm. Um, it costs about the same as a Porsche, so most people would rather have a Porsche, but I would rather have that. Light, oh. fast. Amazing. I mean, it's really a fantastic car, yeah. Wow. And that's the McLaren F1. That's This one here? Yeah, that's considered probably about the most valuable car in the world you can buy right about what, now. What, what are these worth? You know, I paid 800000 for it in 98, and people thought it was crazy. But the last offer I got was 20 mil. So. What? Oh, yeah, that's it. One just sold what? for 24 million. Yeah, so. 20 Toy million car? dollars? They only, they only built 64. Wow. In the world? Yeah, and you sit in the, sit in the center. Yeah. What are they like to drive? Oh, it's a fabulous car to drive. It's Is it? Really considered probably the... It was voted the best car that, of the last century. But if that car alone is worth $20 million, mm -hmm. how many have you got in total? There's 206. Oh, the my world. gosh. Cars? Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing the math here. There's a lot. Of <laughs> well, they're not all worth twenty. Million. No, no, they're not. But a lot of them are worth a lot of money, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess what, are, so. they, what are these? Are uh, these are new McLarens? That's McLaren. a one McLaren. That's a twelve C. That's a Tesla Plaid. Wow. Right? That's my everyday car. The Tesla this Plaid. This fabulous car. You like yeah. you like Teslas? Wonderful car. Yeah. Do you think Elon Musk is a genius? Yes, genius. Yeah. You've actually had him. You've interviewed him in here. You they? know something? He's a a lot of geniuses are dreamers. Mm. He's a manufacturer. I mean, mm. uh, he's an engineer. At Harvard, you know, he came. To, he entered this garage in 2007 mm. with his prototype electric roadster, mm. and I thought, oh, "This is pretty cool." And he says, "You know, Jay, I'm going to build charging stations all up and down the coast. It'll be free, and you can pull it and charge mm. your." And he did that. Right, so, like that'll happen. But he was smart enough to build the infrastructure at the same time. Mm. You know, everybody else who builds an electric car, where can I charge it? Oh, you can charge anywhere. Just mm. plug it. Well, no, you can't. I mean, he's the yeah, only first one. Yeah, he got it really right. So no, he he's a genius. Mm. And I went down to that. You know, I went down to SpaceX. That's down incredible, isn't in it? Texas. Mm. Well, okay, we'll look around. He goes, Jay. What I want to do is, uh, we want to have go to Mars and have a rocket land on Mars <laughs> every three days. I said, Well, how are you going to do that? He goes, Well, come here. And we go into this warehouse. He's got jet engine, a thousand of them. Mm. You know, um, the engines are tall, mm. tall in this roof, and they're ready to go. Mm. And I go, Okay. And while you're talking to them, you know, physicist, uh, Elon, excuse me, uh, the trajectory, trajectory of the rocket. Oh, mm. yeah, what's the, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Incredible. Oh, yeah, very bright guy. Oh, yeah. So, more importantly, you've got oh, all right. your cars. Very I've nice. Got, I've got mine. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, they, oh, yeah, the four door. Yeah, the Aston nice. Martin wow, Rapide. That's a Rapide, yeah. That was based on the Lagonda Rapide. Are yeah. you thinking James Bond when you look at this little beauty? Uh, you know, if I do a little. Daniel Craig, or maybe probably Connery, actually. Huh? Huh? What do you think? I was thinking more Terry Thomas, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You like Aston Martin? I do like Aston Martin. You know, Aston Martin is one of those uniquely British brands. Mm. And it, it, it's the car that most people need. You know, a, lot, a lot of people say it's not a real sports car, but it's a real sports car that's also a luxury car. Yes. And that's what's great. You've got the fantastic handling. Mm. 
but you're not getting kidney punched every time you go over it. Mm. You know, it's got the proper leather and the proper stereo. Now, they're wonderfully built cars. I, I, I like Aston. Well, look, you can have it. 20 million. All right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's my, it's my going rate. It's it obviously not worth that, but because I've driven it. Right, because you've driven that. Massively that, increases that, the value. No, that is the value. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, it's been what a, what a pleasure. A pleasure. Thank a real, to finally get in there and to see well, it. I, I invited you 20 years I know, ago. I know. I won't leave it 20 years for the next time, but it, it's amazing. Uh, well, thank it's you. It's an absolute work of love, isn't it? Well, no, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. We have a good time. Yeah, Brilliant. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Piers Morgan. I really enjoyed reacting to this video and I pray that every one of us is able to achieve whatever dream we have. If it's just to collect a particular car or hundreds of them, I pray we all actualize that dream. Oh my gosh, you guys, this man has over 200 cars and all of them are incredibly super expensive. One car is over $20 million. Wow. That was incredible and I really enjoyed every minute of this video. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.